And welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes, where we're in the raft shop, oh, not being able to sleep. Bed. Can you get in other beds? Uh, I think you can get back in like the original bed that you woke up in, but don't quote me on that one. It's been a long time. Is it just like a slight in kind of? You know how like I think so. How this games kind of do, where it's like down and then you just slide under the yeah. cover. So in Stardew Valley, they have a um, they updated it. Mm -hmm. And I actually need to like log on to like my like Switch profile because they're like, yeah, we redid the Jumino Kart game. Yeah, so it's, it's actually fun. fun. Yeah. But you need the skull key, and that's fairly advanced in the story. So I'm just kind of like, well, fuck, I don't want to try it on like a different file. I got to do it on my Switch. Yeah. Or my PC. And, uh, but I noticed your cat, if it loves you, will sleep on the bed with you, and then like your partner. So it's like if you have like your partner, your partner will be sleeping, and the cat will be sleeping at the foot of the bed. And you slip in. It's just so fucking cute. Yeah, it reminds me of fucking when I like logged back into uh, Minecraft for a really long time, and uh, they have an entirely different system for like the cats now. You, oh, it's they not, do. Yeah, it's not ocelots anymore and yeah. shit like that. So it's fucking. But moral story is, I had some cats mm -hmm. and. I went to go sleep and they'll run up on the bed while you're sleeping yes. and like curl up on your like chest and stuff. Yes. I was like, ah! <laughs> I was like, adorable. I'm like, my cats do that. My cats don't. I've trained Avalon to um, uh, sleep on my computer chair instead because I don't have a lot of space. No, and that's fair. Whereas, hey, come back here. Whereas I do. Yeah. Okay, this will be infinitely easier nope going down because this doesn't drift as far as we're aware no no ah oh, fuck I can't go up there no I want I want I want <laughs> this way can I go that way I don't think I can shit oh yeah because I've seen out of the current yeah it's a little hard, actually, to see on this TV. Come on. It's come too- on. it's so good that it makes it worse. Oh, come on. I want to try to- dang it. Come on. I see where it should go for. Mm -hmm. There we go. Damn you. I don't think I can. Yeah, I think you have to already uh, be going that way. Haha. Uh, -ha. Oh, nice. Good. No, 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 no! You can make a shit ton of money off this once you have the, um, hook shot. Let's go up here. What's that like uh, a little island for? Oh, you know what? I think there's a secret seashell on there. Oh, well. Oh, fuck this way. I wanted to go. No, 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 no. There we go. Sir. <sighs> okay. What's my... Need arrows and bombs. Oh, I desperately need powder. Okay. Desperately? Desperately, I've got nine. I mean, come on. I can't tell. hey, why didn't you jump when I pushed the fucking button? There we go. His <laughs> legs are temporarily broken. Right. No, no. Fine. <laughs> Fine. I don't even like jello pudding. this one there, there you go. go all right well 200 more than what we started out with i think that's pretty good no i'm good the um uh oh fuck you guys i hate you guys so much go away fuck you um the rapids race mm -hmm. you pretty much have to do all of that in like under i think it's a minute which is do you have to grab all the shit too no no okay you just get through it as fast as you can yeah i don't think that'd be too hard it's not my first time i did it in a minute 31 <laughs> and then you have to beat your time so i had to do it within like i think i managed to get it to 129 mm -hmm. oh boy what? it was what game and was i playing that was something like that where it was like fucking uh you need to um set uh like a goal mm -hmm. or you need to like set your own like 
racing gold, some racing game. Okay. And then it was like, uh, then you have to beat. Oh, it's Crash Team Racing. Sometimes oh. they'll have ones where it's like beat your own, uh, like time trial. Okay. Like set a time trial speed or whatever, and okay. then like beat your own time trial oof. speed, which is no, not oof. Like, what the fuck kind of stupid? fucking easy ass shit is this oh Cause right because you take your fucking time i don't hit any boosts i don't do anything i just kind of tootle around the track right. and then it's like oh when i need to fucking actually play the fucking thing beat my own time then i actually play like i would normally play right right <laughs> like it almost takes more effort to tootle right than it does to actually play and naturally play because it's not natural i guess right because you're so used to just being like just drift go, go 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 yeah. go yeah like snake drift and shit like that and then fucking like uh and then oftentimes it'll also be like you know also this is a um Oops. a like you just playing this time trial get two more points so it's like you can like really knock out like three things in one go oh nice yeah which I'm sure they're aware they designed it that way. And I'm sure they're aware that, like, by being like, hey, do this, uh, beat your own time trial time, set one, and then beat it. And, and they're it like, goes. people are going to cheat it, right, basically. Yeah. Which is not even cheating. It's just being better than the system. Right. Hoot, there are two shrines, one to the north, the other to the south. First, head south, where the ancient ruins speak of the wind fish. You will learn much there. Who? I got very Thunk. I got and then you eat him for fucking dinner. Right. I got very confused where I was going. I was like, why are you talking about going to catfish? Ma, I was like, oh, right, because it didn't come down this way. I fucking went up for the rapids. <laughs> okay, yeah. Because I know how to streamline this game, but if I want all the fucking dialogue, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I say as I already haven't because I fucked us out of the uh, mermaid gal. Well, hey, if it makes you feel any better, um, I it fucked does. this out of uh, getting a first letter from Claude in. Uh, <laughs> I know. Oh, I, I made no. it too early over I, I was like, okay, lesson learned. Next time I know June is just a good, like, May or June. Okay. Which, five or six, whatever, their equivalent of May and June. Uh, that is where we should set the birthday to okay. get two letters because yeah like all of it would have said and been like thanks for being our teach or whatever like, oh, and, right, like right. We, we're like really happy you're a teach and we got you a little something and it's like a fucking it ups your charm oh, it's like a little cool. bracelet that up your charm but we don't fucking get that because I was like oh turns out we start on like because we set it for I don't know what but I, I was like, like month three <laughs> or something like that I, yeah and I think the game starts in month four so I was like Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, eh, it's not like we really needed the charm anyways. I mean, it makes sense because retrospectively, I remember getting that charm thing um, <laughs> really early on in the game. Oh, okay. Because my birthday, I would have just said it on June For 20th. Birthday, yeah. yeah. And then fucking, I was like, oh. <laughs> Whoopsie. Yeah. But, oh. And now it's like fucking, what, November? I don't think it's even November. Oh, oh, in it's, the game? Yeah, in the game. Yeah, yeah, it's November. No, it's definitely past November. <laughs> it's 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 down to the we only have so many missions left for the time skip. I'm excited. Yeah, I am too, because then I can... Because once you basically have played the game once, and besides certain plot details that might be in other routes or whatever... You know everything. You know most general things. Right. So I'll be able to be like, yeah, this, this, and this. Like, now you know it, so I don't have to fucking shut up about it. Right. Whereas, like, there's things I'm neglecting to mention ever because they're things that you will find out. Right. But, like, I want you to find them out naturally versus me just, like, Bleh. Yeah, spouting it. Here it is, yeah. Yeah, meanwhile, I might have to block an artist because she's just going through, like, a bunch of different ships and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of like, whoops. This fight. Um, and it's like, I don't know if any of them are spoilers. I mean, fucking, I already got myself spoiled about Raya. Yeah. To be fair, I mean, think about if you were playing the game. Oh, no. Too, and like, like, well, like, even just like playing the game, I was super sus of Raya. Like, well, yeah. automatically. She, she looks exactly like the other person. Yeah. And then I was like, super sus about. The whole thing with Sothis too. I was like, oh, hey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, huh. Like, this is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Well, and then, like, when they... Because I was like, who the fuck are... You're, you're somebody. Ah! 
And then right. they finally, which I guess spoilers, I guess, for Fire Emblem Three Houses, if you guys haven't either been watching a playthrough slash just um, haven't played it yet, haven't played it, but want to, don't listen to like the next like three seconds. <laughs> Uh, when they were like, so this is a goddess. Yeah, right? Yeah, I, like, it's a goddess name or whatever. I was like, I was wondering, but fucking, like, uh, that still doesn't answer f- all the questions, but doesn't no. answer the majority of that question. No, like, when her, when that ha- when that happened, I was just kind of like... I was like, womp womp, there it is. Okay. Yeah, because I also was kind of thinking that, I mean, what else would she be? Yeah. You know, so I was already kind of like, she's gonna be that. Yeah. And then the game confirmed it, and I'm just like, yeah, okay. And then there's like My other things skills. that you're like like hearing that characters are saying yeah. that are just like wait huh yeah and uh, like ring that by me again yeah and like wait like these things I'm noticing like trends and like lack of information so that makes me that leads me to believe it's this thing right maybe. so that's why it's like, and you're already kind of connecting those dots and stuff like that but and those are the dots I went through too I was like right. what the fuck who are you who are you. You're not divulging information. Right. Flame keeps talking about fucking weird, like, long weird. in the past yeah. shit. Flame, yeah, Flame, what the fuck? Yeah. And also, I don't trust that fucking redhead, and I hope her, she yeah, gets her w- come up here soon. No, literally. Like, also, I was <laughs> like, well, that's why I had to show you that instantly, where I was yeah. like, like, what do you want to, like, what, do you want to eat dinner tonight with me? Oh, Ellie hi. Goes, hi, professor. I was like, <laughs> fuck off. I was like, immediately, you put me on the defensive. And I don't like, like the fact that she's talking to Edelgard, because even though Edelgard isn't part of our house, I'm like, don't you dare fucking hurt Edelgard. Yeah, I'm just like, fucking, like, I want to know. Yeah. I'm like, fucking, so I was like super suspicious of her. And I was happy to see Hubert being like, yeah, fucking chill out to her. And I was like, <laughs> don't know if I don't trust you or don't know if I don't. You know, you're like, am I just conditioned to not trust you and you're going to be a perfect person or are you actually sus? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I th- think they cut out something, too, because, oh, yeah, like, I'm pretty sure when Tomas is around and you're looking for something uh-huh. or someone or something. Like, Sothis is talking to you a bunch, and she's like, I think it's Tomas or something like that. And I'm like, oh. Tomas has literally never, ever set up red flags for me. No, never. Until, like, now that I know. Like, now I know. Right, what but, like, happens? Yeah, but, like, he's literally never done anything that made me go, mm, you're a bad guy. No. I was just like, like, you're a librarian that has knowledge that yeah. Seth doesn't necessarily want to put in the church. And that's the thing. Seth is a little bit more, like, um... I view Seth as literally, like... You are a religious figure to a degree, like like you're a right. religious official, and you are going to turn your library to a degree. It's gonna favor the church always, right? In this library, and, that's and why... you're taking away the stuff that doesn't favor the church, right? And that's why I don't yeah. trust that. Because... I don't untrust it. I just see it as a yeah, that's what church does. Yes, yeah. Right. So that's why it's just like. Ugh. But, like, so, like, Tomas being, like, oh, like, and she didn't do that this time. She didn't, right. like, no one was, like, well, maybe it's Tomas. Because they were, like, going hard on Tomas. I'm, like, why? Right. Literally, like, and then it was, and then I was, like, okay, well, you guys are being, like, too heavy-handed now. Right. And, like, th- I keep thinking it's red herrings because nothing's ever that cut and dry. Right. So and maybe that's why they did take it out. Then. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. Because I was, like didn't notice that this time yeah because i was like a slap across the face like if you guys if you guys watch that video when like that battle comes up i'm just like no (laughs) i'm like so sad i like zoomed in i was like look at him (laughs) anyway you want to learn about the one fish yeah check that shit out you have to light the fires otherwise you can't read it to the finder the isle of koholan is but an illusion human monster sea sky seen on the lid of a sleeper's eye Awake the dreamer and Koholint will vanish much like a bubble on a needle. Cast away, you should know the truth. What illusion? Huh? 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 What is he saying? We've only been told that the windfish is sleeping the entire fucking game. <laughs> the windfish always. But I know it's Zelda, so like they use a lot of the same looks and assets and things. Mm-hmm. Uh, the windfish reminds me a lot of the. Uh, whatever fish thing that's in wind waker oh just you wait until you see the actual wind fish i'm wondering if well i'm to be fair i kind of might have you probably have 
well, I wasn't too shy when I was posting shit about Zelda on my not, Twitter. <laughs> it's not that. I think I actually wasn't really on Twitter when you were doing that. That's fair. Because I don't, I don't remember saying a lot of that past the, like, conch. But, like. <laughs> yeah, but I tagged you in it. Yeah, like, but. No, when I was looking for your uh, chain chomp pin. Oh, um, okay. I wasn't looking specifically for that pin, but right. what I was, I typed in Link's Awakening. Right, yeah. Like, to see and pins The one fish will pop up. There was definitely one fish, yeah. and it was, I don't know if they took the color out of it, or if it's just white and black, but fucking... It's not white and black. Okay. Well, this one was really cool looking. It was mm-hmm. still white and black, and I was like, oh, that's really neat looking. So that's why I was like, I think I know what the one fish looks like, but... Oh, it's atrocious. Yeah. It's beautiful, but it's atrocious. <laughs> well, well, I'll find out. Yeah. Who to see you've read the relief. While it does say the island is but a dream of the wind fish, no one is really sure. Just as you cannot know if a chest holds treasure until you open it, so you cannot tell if this is a dream until you awaken. The only one who knows for sure is the wind fish. Trust your feelings. Someday you will discover the answer. Don't. There's like a fucking dream drop distance. <laughs> I haven't played that, so I don't really. <laughs> well, it's just like anything. Fucking like, it's a dream. And you're like, fuck off. Yeah, I can't say anything. <laughs> it's potentially a dream. I, I can't tell you. I may actually 100% cry at the ending because I love this game so much. <laughs> like, I mean, I played the game twice in a month. To, and one to completion. The other one mostly to completion. Mostly because... You died. I died once. Once. Is there anything down here? I forget. I don't think so. I think this is just to get you stuck because it's like a maze. Oh, yeah. It's just a dead end. Well, I mean, again, this is where the game is different as a side scroller instead of like a... um. Uh, uh, Continual. Where you, yeah, yeah, where you like go off the screen. Because I think like right here or right like, here was shit. a cut. Yeah. yeah, you go in and be like, well, shit. And then you have to like come back and then come up. And it's, I'm sorry I brushed up against you. It is. It does lose a little bit of its older charm because like it's not bad and it's not like it taken lo- away from the game. Right. It just, but the, what it does take away is, yeah, that little like maziness or something like that. Right. That was because of how the game had to be made. Right. And they just worked with the limitations, right. and they wanted to keep it true, kind of to the game, how it used to be, but without the limitations there anymore. Right. So like it, it kind of like ends up falling a little flat, and like takes out that weird like, like challenge slash charm. Right, and it's it's like really two two assholes. Because, oh, can I get them? Please, let me get them. Oh, well, I got one. I forgot the button for dive really quickly. I was <laughs> just, like, hitting X. And I'm like, why are we going down? <sighs> one thing I keep noticing that's a little interesting is I, Link has literally never jumped before Breath of the Wild in like, any Zelda game, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I actually Skyward Sword. I think he kind of does. I I forget about Skyward Sword. It's like, nah. I and mean, we can play it at some point. But it's just, I would it's, like to. It's I've only played it once. It really didn't enchant me in any way. That's fair. So that's why I was like, eh. we could, and I felt but... like I felt like Breath of the Wild actually improved on like even though I was still kind of meh on Breath of the Wild, right? And Breath of the Wild might just literally be a game that's better for personal playing, exploratory, and stuff like that. But like, I've definitely been enjoying it a lot more just playing it. By yeah, myself. like whereas it's not as good as like presenting it on a channel. But like, right? I feel like it did still improve on like what Skyward Sword I think wanted to do. Right. And that's kind of sad when I still was kind of meh yeah. about the game, and I was like, but it still did better <laughs> than Skyward Sword. This is my least favorite shrine. It's pretty, though. I like the it's coloring. It's pretty. I love the um, Indian, like, imagery. Yeah. I hate Indian slash Arabic. I mean, Middle Eastern. It's all in that same area, basically. Yeah. So, Central Asia. I like Russian area. 
I've definitely got a bit of brain fog going on, so please be patient this session, guys. Ah, uh, yeah, I fucking... Oh, yeah. I kind of do, too, but I'm just... It's... It's the tired. <laughs> right. <laughs> Hamilton's getting so much better about actually sleeping through the entire night, and I'm so fucking happy, because finally... He's no longer as much of a puppy. Yep. But as long as he goes potty around, like... Oh, wait. Two. He's usually good for me sleeping until like fucking like one. Shit. Oh well. <laughs> but yeah, no. Like he he's learning his routines finally. Right. Yeah. And like I mean, at the same time with Avalon, like he's pretty good to sleep in my room, and I know he'll wake up at fucking like four or like eight, depending on when he starts sleeping in my room, and I'll get up and let him out. And it's to the point now where I almost don't even remember doing that. Right. And I'm just like, how do you get out of my room? <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I probably let him out. That's my problem with, um... Oh, so these rooms were a lot darker, I think. In the original? Yeah, because, um... I remember actually having to light those, whereas obviously this, I don't need to. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, like around 4.40ish is like when dad gets up to go to work and were those like chess pieces? Yep. Okay. They've introduced them and I absolutely hate them. But I was like, someone lost their boots. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought at first. No, it's like, uh, the, the white knight and then the black knight. Ah. So, fuck off, shy guy. There we go. But yeah, dad will get up around 4.40ish, and then, of course, Hamilton has to come sleep home. Yeah. So. Well, that's the same thing. It's like at, like, 4 a.m. Fuck you. Uh, it's, it's food time. Right, yeah. And, like, going out or coming in, depending on where he is. Mm -hmm. But, like... He, um, like it's, it's like I know his routine. It's like he'll want to go outside, and I know that he'll pace the halls and he wants to go outside, but then he'll flop down at the top. So if I go quick enough, he might just follow me down instead of flopping over. Right. And then, uh, he will do the thing of, oh, I'm going to stare aside and swish my tail around, and then I'm <laughs> going to come back in and I'm going to eat. And that's me preparing to go outside, actually, right. in reality. And I, I learned that because he would eat and then come back to the door and be like okay now i'll go out right i'm like oh okay that's what you do that's your fucking routine as a cat it kind of sucks because like i have to make sure i have like my phone on me because it i don't so want to go back upstairs because he'll come up and find me and then maybe flop down at the top of the stairs when he wants to go out again right yeah yeah so like fucking i just try to wait down there mm -hmm. and then i let him out yeah so like when i get home i'll take hamilton outside to go potty mm -hmm. and then ah Fuck you guys. Um, which usually he just pees really quick, mm -hmm. and then he'll come back inside. Which I mean, he's been locked up for however many hours it is with the parents putting him to bed and me coming home. I'm like, well, you gotta need a poop, yeah. dog. And then he doesn't go poop, and it's just like one of the things of like, okay, well, we're gonna go upstairs. It's gonna be an hour, and then you need to go back outside because you gotta poop. <laughs> yeah. And then like that one, I definitely have to have my phone on me or something because otherwise I'm just like standing there like watching him. Just, like I'm so bored. It fucking yeah. It's like like it's not that I don't want to like wait for my pet and stuff uh, like that, right, but like God, like sometimes we take their fucking sweet ass time yeah. and. I don't mind. I just, if there's one thing I don't like, and it's pure laziness, it's <laughs> having to get up multiple times yes. in a row. Like, or like even within like hour, like yes. quickly, like an hour or yes. something like that. Like, just stay up. That's my frustration with Hamilton Pick because one, yeah. there was a period of time, and I think it's because we had swapped dog food, so he is, his tummy wasn't feeling great. Yeah, so he's getting the doggy poos. Uh, yeah, and I had to keep reminding myself of that because it would be like, We'd, he'd go outside and go, oh, fuck, I can't go up there yet. Um, you guys are assholes. Uh, he'd go outside and go potty, and then he would come back upstairs really quick, and I'm just like, dog, please. Like, fuck you. Does this one have, it does have a chest. Fine, I'll fight them. 
Um, and then like 45 minutes later, he'd be like, well, I need to go potty again. So I'd have to go back downstairs, open the door. And then, of course, him pooping takes a while because he's got to find like a primo poop spot. Yeah. And so like it takes a while and I'm just like sitting at the door and I'm fucking tired. I want to go to bed, but I got to take care of my dog. And Do you think there's a dog real estate agent that helps find the best poop spot? I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> I really wouldn't. <laughs> That's probably, what, that's probably what they do at the dog park, honestly. Yeah. I like okay. I like that thing that's like someone brought their RC car to the dog park, so all the dogs are fucking chasing it. <laughs> As and if just, one dog's not going to catch that and just tear, tear it. it yeah. I'm sure they're aware of that. Oh, probably. Some, but like, still like, <laughs> like fucking, what a good idea, though, because it right? gets the dogs worn the fuck out, gets them the running they like, and then they get tired, and yeah. then they sh- shut up for the rest of the day. That's why mom is like, can you please take Hamilton into the dog park on the weekends? And I'm like, yeah, I get it. Because he's a bit of a terror. Yeah. And like. Oh, he's a high energy dog breed. He is. And I need to be better about taking him to the park on the weekdays. On weekdays or weekends? Weekdays. That's fair. Like, I need to be better about getting up early enough that I can take him. I get it, though. With a full schedule, it's kind of hard. But it's that or like walking him because dogs do need that daily. No, so it's they like, do. And that's why I am very resistant to owning dogs because no, I don't want to do that. I don't want to take care of a dog, basically. And mm. that's why and I, I'm aware of that. So that's why it's like, oh, I'm right. not going to get an animal. I'm not going to take care of properly. Right. My problem is that who the fuck is calling at 130 in the morning? Good question. Also, I'm surprised that phone is still uh, hooked up. Well, I unplugged it for some reason because I had to like fit a different thing in. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just was like, "Fuck this one, this dies." I don't right. care. Yeah. Who calls? Yeah, I'm. I'm curious about that. Um. Anyways, my problem is is that I wake up at like <laughs> one o'clock, and I need to leave for work at one fifty. Yeah. So that's my problem is I just need to get up, be better about getting up earlier. Hmm. That's right. I do have to shoot these assholes. Fine. But it's hard when you're like you're bummed out and having a hard time too. Yeah. I when mean, you can barely like take care of your daily life in the first place. Yeah. And taking care of Hamilton does give me like that bit of satisfaction of when well, my dog's happy. So. Well, yeah. And then he's less of a terror later. And right. then also like it does get you fresh air and exercise too, to a degree. Exactly. Yes. I feel okay. Like I was wondering because it kept being like pick up for these fucking like elephant statues yeah. and i was like can you or is it giving you basically the option because ah! you have that okay. option in the future yeah it's funny because link looks like he's about to have a hernia yeah if you do it before i like how they just shatter like they're fucking a massive vase right you walk so slow when you're carrying them too because it's like oh no maybe you don't okay fuck you shag never mind to <laughs> hit the corner of the fucking break before it hit you <laughs> this is a good place to stop though oh fuck yeah so we'll catch you guys on the next episode of we continue this dungeon a little this further massive fucking dungeon yeah it was like wow we haven't gotten far in this dungeon at all I, it'll, Mate, we're less than half but close it'll go a lot faster now that we have the power bracelet i figured i figured yeah. once we got the item other yeah because that's the thing about zelda it always has an, an item, item and then it makes the dungeon a thousand times faster yep. because that's the item you need yep but Anyway, we will proceed next time. So until then, bye.